United Nations headquarters in New York, United States President Eisenhower arrives to make a proposal for the constructive use of atomic power. Atomic bombs today are more than 25 times as powerful as the weapons with which the atomic age dawned. To stop there would be to accept helplessly the probability of civilization destroyed, the annihilation of the irreplaceable heritage of mankind handed down to us generation from generation. The United States pledges before you, and therefore before the world, its determination to help solve the fearful atomic dilemma, to devote its entire heart and mind to find the way by which the miraculous inventiveness of man shall not be dedicated to his death, but consecrated to his life. There has been a nuclear accident in the Soviet Union, and the Soviets have admitted that it happened. So my country's purpose is to help us move out of the dark chamber of horrors into the light. An official announcement from the Council of Ministers. There has been an accident at the Chernobyl Atomic Power Station. One of the atomic reactors was damaged. The consequences of the accident are being taken care of. Help is being given to the victims of the accident. A government commission has been set up. The civilian plant in question is in the Ukraine. It's something of a showcase facility, featured here in Soviet Life magazine, which extolled its safety record. Find a way by which the minds of men, the hopes of men, the souls of men everywhere can move forward toward peace and happiness.
to hasten the day when fear of the atom will begin to disappear from the minds of people and the governments of the East and West, there are certain steps that can be taken now. I therefore make the following proposal. The government principally involved to the extent permitted by elementary proof to begin now and continue to make joint contributions from their stockpiles of normal uranium and fissionable materials to an international atomic energy agency. 